In this video, you'll learn about 11 privacy and security tools that I use daily. These tools help protect your personal information, credentials, email, and messages. Once you start using these tools, prying eyes on the internet won't be able to get anything from you. Password managers. People who don't use password managers tend to rely on weak or repeated passwords across accounts to remember them easily. This is a serious mistake. If even one account detail is leaked, it can lead to a total compromise of your accounts. That's why a password manager is essential. It securely stores all your passwords in one place. Another advantage of using a password manager is that it generates complex, random passwords for your accounts and even auto-fills them across your devices. My personal favorite is Bitwarden, but you can also explore One Password or NordPass. 2FA Physical Key To prevent unauthorized access to your online accounts, it's best to use two-factor authentication. Usually, online services authenticate by sending a one-time password to your mobile number, but there have been many cases where hackers clone mobile numbers with just a few details. If you use a physical two-factor authentication key, it becomes far more difficult for hackers to gain access. I use a Yubico two-factor authentication physical key to authenticate any supported online accounts securely. Private Internet Browser. I stopped using Google Chrome a long time ago because it never stops tracking you, even in incognito mode. That's why I've switched to a privacy-focused browser. My personal favorite is Brave, which blocks trackers, but I also have DuckDuckGo and Firefox installed as additional options. Email privacy tools. Almost everyone has a Gmail address, including me. I still use it, and I probably will continue to use it in the future. However, for my most sensitive data exchanges, I use a secure email account. This account is reserved for communication with my accountant, doctor, and other trusted individuals. For this purpose, I use ProtonMail, which is known for its security. Another email privacy tool I use is email aliases. I've created different aliases to use on promotional websites, newsletters, coupon sites, and even online shopping sites. You can create these aliases with your secure mail provider or try simple login by Proton. Secure messaging app. When chatting casually on social media, there's no need to worry about security too much. You can simply continue as usual. But for confidential conversations, you need an app that encrypts your messages. For these conversations, I use the Signal messaging app, which has strong encryption features. There are other secure messaging apps like Threema, Viber, and Session that you might want to try, but based on usability, I prefer Signal. Data masking tools. The next tools are for keeping your data hidden from prying eyes on the internet. While we've masked our email addresses, it's also important to mask our mobile numbers, credit card numbers, and personal addresses. This means setting up a virtual mobile number, virtual credit card, and virtual address. For my physical address, I use a virtual address service that supports anonymous addresses, receives my mail, and forwards it to my actual address. This service can also be used as a registered address and I can manage it online. I use PostScan Mail, but Anytime Mailbox is another good option. For creating a virtual credit card, I use privacy.com, and for a virtual mobile number, I use the Burner app, though Hushed is another alternative. Data monitoring tools. These tools aren't for daily use. They work in the background to protect your data. The first service monitors the internet for any of my personal data being sold and sends legal removal requests on my behalf. This service is called Delete Me. A lot of your information from data breaches ends up being sold online, and Delete Me continuously searches for it and requests its removal. Another important tool is a credit monitoring service, which lets you monitor and even freeze your credit. With identity theft on the rise, this is a must-have tool. You can use Identity Guard to protect yourself against fraud and monitor your credit and bank accounts. These are the 11 tools that I use every day to protect my data online. You can also use these tools or any other alternative that you like of these 